After an alleged Bronny James diss, Jalen Brown of the Celtics tries to maintain his composure. On X, formerly known as Twitter, Celtics standout Jalen Brown responded to a post that appeared to be disparaging Lakers rookie Bronny James. Given that LeBron James's eldest son did not play well in his one and only collegiate basketball season, Bronny James' draft pick would have garnered attention regardless, but the fact that the Lakers, LeBron's team, selected him raises the question of whether the league's oldest player forced the Lakers' hand. And many, including Jalen Brown, are doubting Bronny's potential to succeed in the NBA after a dismal summer league run. At yesterday night's summer league game between the Boston Celtics and the Los Angeles Lakers, Brown, the current MVP of the NBA Finals and an NBA champion as a member of the Boston Celtics, sat courtside with WNBA players Kaisra Gondrasic and Angel Reese. During the game, a videographer happened to catch Brown ostensibly chatting about Bronny. Those who read lips claimed that Brown questioned if Bronny is an NBA-caliber athlete in a conversation that went something like this. However, there is no audio to corroborate what was said. I do not think Bronny is a pro, says Brown. Gondrasic. I am pretty sure he will be playing for the G League team. Brown. I do not believe that. I believe he will be on the Lakers because of his name. Following the discussion of Brown's purported remarks on NBA Twitter today, the MVP of the NBA Finals answered and appeared to vouch for the accuracy of the lip reading. Having your son play in the NBA with you is a flex, tweeted Brown. It exhibits magnificence and durability. Bronny is surrounded by all the resources he needs to succeed, and I am excited to follow his development. Regarding Bronny James, is Jalen Brown correct? Whether you agree or disagree with Jalen Brown on Bronny James's position in the NBA, it is certain that Bronny is having difficulty thus far in the summer league. Bronny's 6 feet, 1.5 inch height will make it difficult for him to play in the NBA on both ends of the court, but he should be able to make a lasting impression if he can carve himself some sort of niche, like on ball defense or becoming a consistent three-point shooter. Regretfully, Bronny's performance in Summer League has been lacking thus far. Bronny is shooting 23%, 7 of 31, from the field, through four games, two at the California Classic and two in Las Vegas, and has missed all 15 of his three-point attempts. Throughout the Summer League, he is averaging 4.3 points, 3.8 rebounds, 1.5 assists, and 1.3 steals. The good news for Bronny, LeBron, and the Lakers could be that summer league results do not necessarily translate into NBA success, regardless of how well or poorly they perform. Many players have shown great potential in summer league play, but once they sign with an NBA franchise, they never measure up. Bronny's defense and playmaking skills will undoubtedly be his strongest suit. The Lakers will probably invest a significant amount of time in helping Bronny improve his shooting, which may make him far more useful against players with NBA caliber talent. Tomorrow night, when the Boston Celtics visit town, Bronny will have another opportunity to shake off his funk.